Hello, I'm Amber. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm 27 years old and almost a half. And <laughs> sorry, my inner child speaking right now. I'm going to start that over. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just so for the record, it's 27 and a half. Okay. And this is financial audit. Okay, okay. cool. So what do you do for a living? We're going to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think it shows your energy. It does. So it does. It does. It does. You're bombastic. What do you do for a yeah. living? I am a web show host and producer. Yeah. My show is called Healing Amber. Okay. So we're getting that off of the ground and running. But right now to make, you know, ends meet ish. Yeah. You've seen my financial statements. Oh. <laughs> we are making commercials. So all the ones you see on social media where there's a random woman telling you to buy this product. Are you that random woman? Yeah. Hmm. What products have you sold? I don't recognize you. Oh my God. Okay. So there's this one built ad that goes around a lot where I'm telling people, um, hey, you can get paid early and you can use this money to pay off your rent and you'll make rewards points. Ugh, and then other ones you, were- Why would you want to support that? That's shit though. That's like payday I know. Loans. And they only paid me like- 200 bucks. So you accepted 200 bucks to show something that's to act that like hurts people. Mm. Oh, you're acting it. So you're not pushing it. You just acted for them. Yeah. That's one thing okay. that's actually been steering me away from the UGC life, the user generated content life. Yeah. And it's been feeling basically like you're saying too hyper capitalistic. Like I'm selling, uh, I don't think really will make people's lives better. It might. I don't know. I haven't really tried it yet. I was acting, but well, I mean, the nice thing about capitalism is you get to choose what and what not to put your yes. work behind. So I wouldn't say ultra capitalistic with that. Like, I mean, it's your say to say where you want to put things. Now you make might might make less money for that. Now mm -hmm. I make a lot less money because I accept like one percent of the sponsorships that reach out to me, and yeah. they probably have those pieces of shit, those payday crap. They probably have, so. and I've said no. You could have said no too. Two hundred bucks. I don't think it would make or break or anything. Well, maybe it would for you because you're not like making ends meet. No, I have negative money in one bank account. So this has kind of oh, been what I've been balancing. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that one? I'm balancing trying to participate in a capitalistic society that I really resent because I want to be able to change this country from the inside out. But I mean, thing. you can vote like everyone else, but no, no, no. but you that still make a difference. <laughs> OK, well, what I was going to say, I mean, I was going to say you can vote like everyone else to, you know, put the people in that you want. That's totally fine. Agree, disagree. It doesn't matter. I don't get into politics. You can talk about whatever you want to talk yeah. about. But but regardless, mm -hmm. in order to survive, you do have to exist in the reality of reality. Yes. Uh, so what's been really interesting has been coming to terms with what you just said, reality. And I'm trying to get my inner reality to finally reflect on the outside. So there was a whole history of some seriously traumatic shit that went down in Los Angeles and beforehand. Mm -hmm. And I really froze up and stopped participating in life, you could say. And I let others support me. And I put in a little bit of energy here and there to support myself. But luckily, now that I've done all this inner work yeah, and I have been realigning my life, that UGC work, the commercial work, it didn't feel aligned. So I'm doing this easy job. Like, let's say- What's the easy in, job? Like, let's say I put in 30 minutes for an AG1 Greens commercial okay. where they're like, why is your skin so glowy? And I'm like, AG1, you know, that kind of thing. And so cool. I just made, let's say 300 off of that. But why do I not feel fulfilled and why am I not- taking my time to actually participate more. Sure. So what I have found feels best right now is helping small businesses. So I'm taking the skills that I used in creating social media ads, you could say, and I'm turning it into my consulting and production company. Which I'm all about as long as you're making a living. We're yes. not making a living. Have so, you, what are you bringing in from this? I, I want to get an idea of your income. What are you bringing in? Yeah. Okay. So... Luckily, when I do a commercial gig, I can get, let's say now, three hundred to a thousand dollars for one ad. Yeah, but how many do we do a week on average? So at this point in my life, I finally made it up to I'm doing like, let's say three to five a month. 
a month? Exactly, yeah. Cool, let's do that. Sounds more like a side gig. So exactly, this one, I just wanna do the social media ads until the debts are paid off. That credit card but, debt, but, 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 all that shit. Okay. Yeah. But you're negative in a checking account. We haven't yes. even gotten your things. Yes, I agree, I agree. Do this until you pay, for your, if you pay off your debt. If it's making enough money to survive, yeah, sure. If it's in order to pay off your debt, it's something you don't wanna do, that's great. But if we can't make ends meet, then I'm sorry. We might be working at McArches instead of this. Like, you know. Arches? McDonald's. Golden Arches. Uh, what? No, that's fine. Not for me. Well, I know, but something <laughs> uh, surviving is for everyone, though. And you might have to do I something know. you don't want to do. And that's what's been pissing me off. Like, I f wear my expensive clothes and I buy my dog the expensive food and I do all this that will like make me feel better when really actually gaining some sovereignty and some independence sure. will make me feel better in the heart, right? Yeah. And so now I'm also turning, I guess I'm playing, uh, as you say, kind of two sides of the coin. I'm doing the work that doesn't feel that good in order to survive, barely, yeah. because there's so much resistance there. But now I am actually just in the middle of my first, first pitch deck to a client in order to consult them in social media authenticity. Damn, you're building a business. Dude, I'm all about building a business. Yeah. When I built this business, which is in a similar space, it's just online, social media, video, blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. I didn't do it until I had a 12 month emergency fund and I didn't quit what I needed to survive until this mm. made enough to survive. You're kind of just going all in on it. Now, yeah. Land of America, you know, put in all the risk. Doesn't mean there's not consequences. And sometimes con consequences might be your missing payments, your negative money and checking account. So that's where I'm just going to the reality type it's thing. Nauseous. It's like, yeah, me too. How do you think I felt when I was looking through this? So very empathetic. <laughs> I want you to do what you want to do. I want you to, do, I want you to find purpose in life. I think that's what we all want to mm. get to through work, through work. Yeah. There's also, again, the reality of math. So, I mean, let's have the conversation <laughs> about work at some point as after we get through the numbers okay um and again i want you to do it i want you to do what you want to do but let's just see let's just see okay wait no absolutely not because i did <laughs> i did not get a number on i didn't get a number i didn't get a number on your income so what you didn't. <laughs> what do you bring in on a monthly basis on average oh my god what's really sad is that what I've do you bring so home stressed? on a monthly basis on average? i don't know because okay. i avoid looking at these bank accounts well you that's know, not you a choice so stressed you're like i'm just not gonna open bank of america today i'm sorry that's not a choice that's a that's an immature childish thing to do it is you say it's not you know when you do life. this so i know when children do that yeah i feel i literally feel overrun once in a while by in spirituality we call them the inner children the inner aspects and i literally have been giving them everything that they want they're like oh my god I'm scared to make money because the fear of success means so many things. Your fear of success is more than your fear of getting kicked out because you can't pay rent. So when I'm setting aside money to save for a new purchase, like a car or a home or taxes or whatever I'm saving money for, like an emergency fund, I'm using SoFi. It's a 4.6% yield on my money. And it's just absolutely incredible. Why not take advantage of that free return on the money that's just sitting there? And there's great bonuses for signing up all the way up to $250. If you sign up using the link in the description below, it's literally free money. I use it. You should too. Um, yeah, there are some issues right now with where I live. There's molding, um, the whole building management company is getting sued. I haven't had to pay rent. I'm in a really weird. That's good. That's situation. bad and good. Bad and good. I'm sorry <laughs> that you're living there and that sucks. And that's obviously yeah, the landlord's the responsibility. Issues. Yeah. I have to deal with law stuff. So the thing is that I've manifested a life at this point where I am taken care of so much by other people. You've manifested a life? Um, subconsciously, okay. Subconsciously, my inner aspects and inner children and teenagers, whatever, have felt safest when others are supporting us rather than when we are supporting ourselves, because then it means we're not alone. Okay. Yeah. Do you see a therapist? <laughs> I see many therapists, coaches. I'm also a coach to a certain extent. So yeah, what's annoying is I am hyper aware. You're a coach, and I'm a still, spiritual coach. Um, I'm a spiritual healer, 
and holistic health coach. Whoa, this is a throwback to another episode we've had. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we had another spiritual healer on here. Mm-hmm. Another life coach of sorts. How do we feel comfortable by any means giving anyone advice on life if you're if you are just failing in the United States. Yeah, I am not a financial coach. Yeah, but how can you be coaching people on their life if you yourself could be getting them into a damaging position because you yourself are in a damaging position? Mm. In finances, yes, mm-hmm. which is what this show is about. But like if you are convincing people that if you think what you do is okay and you convince people to get in that same headspace, You're leading people down a dangerous path to the point where they might not be able to pay rent. They might not be able to retire. They might not be able to put food on their table and they think it's okay. Hmm. I get that slippery slope. I get that. From my point of view, I don't coach anybody in finance. No, no, no. I'm very open about not finances. I'm talking about headspace in general. Yeah. So what I coach people on is how to find joy and healing in the present moment. And but what if they? What if what you're teaching is through that present moment, they get in the same headspace as you, which has led you to thinking to just accepting this as reality. This should not be considered okay. Being to a be child honest, is not. Okay. Everyone else is doing really great finances wise besides me, but yeah, what I do in my time away from participating in capitalism has been some intense inner work you're in the and united I states it's, i mean this is again this isn't politics i don't say whether i agree or disagree with our current system it's irresponsible for me on the side of the table to like just be like oh i wish this i wish that i wish this yeah it's like i'm sorry you do i want you to survive so let me help you navigate this system mm-hmm. and saying oh today i'm participating in capitalism <laughs> tomorrow i'm not yeah to be honest that's how it's been but that's, and it doesn't feel great. And you know where that's you know where that's led us. Yeah, so I can't even look at myself. Like yeah. I'm only brave enough to look at it right now because you are somebody who's passionate enough about yeah. other people with this. So I really do freaking appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you being here. You're putting situation on display for many people to learn from. I hope what that I can help transfer? somebody. Oh, that's one of the commercials I did. Okay, so 2,100. Came in for the through that. Dope. Cool. You didn't know that. I didn't know the total. No, Pangea I haven't Holdings? budgeted yet. <laughs> Pangea Holdings. Um, I think that's like a shaving commercial because I'm a hairy girl. Congratulations. Thank you. And <laughs> Venmo. What usually comes in through Venmo? Like why? It used to be sugar daddy money. Yeah. What is it now? How much is it? Three hundred seven total across all the Venmo in the past month. Or within this I'm not going to lie. I have no clue. Okay. Ready, set, ink. That is one of my agencies that connects me to brands for the UGC social media commercials. Sick. You made $91. All right. <laughs> so Go the Venmo, month. can we count that as income? Or was that just like we split dinner and like someone paid for it? You, I think it was partially that. Okay. Then saying. I'm not going to count that as income. So exactly. income total that came in. You live in Los Angeles, correct? Oh my God. Yeah. $2,891. That's a good month for me. Well, that's a month for anyone else living out in LA. <laughs> I know, I know. So with the molding issue, I'm legally not required to pay rent right now. I know, that's the only reason so you're surviving. Exactly, exactly. And I have EBT, I have food stamps. I was getting $281 a month. And I just had that knocked down about $100 since I made more money this month. It's interesting. Because yeah. like, but you're choosing not to work though. The thing is, like, up until- I am all for support for people who can't work. If you get disability, you get laid off, especially yeah. because you're paying into that system, yeah. you know, through different taxes and everything. Uh, when you're working, absolutely support people that just can't make ends meet because they're working their ass off. Mm-hmm. But you're choosing not to work. You're kind of acting like an entitled person mm-hmm. who's like, this is what I want to do. So mm-hmm. everyone come in and support me because I can't make ends meet doing what I want to do instead of growing up being an, an adult and actually taking care of your own life. Mm. Can I tell you a story? Please. Story time. So. Can I sit crisscross applesauce on the floor? 
If you had a fireplace, I would move us there right now with some marshmallows because this is a little heavy. <laughs> I love marshmallows. It's a little heavy. Do you okay, have some more? Go for it. <sighs> I'm also sorry. My dog farted. I did not smell. But you didn't? Oh, well, thank you for doubting. Hi, buds. Are you stress farting? It's okay. Caleb's actually really nice. He's just, you know, passionate. That's true. So, um, yes, you can tell I'm very hyper aware of the situation. So it comes off as entitlement. Except for your income, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I ignore that um, until today. But long story short, um, I was doing the classic LA. I transferred from a career of tutoring little kids, which was the most fulfilling job I've ever had, making a lot of money, luckily doing that, like $100 a session. But then for some reason, you know, more on camera stuff was calling me and I got into the acting, the music videos, the dancing, all of that LA. And um, two summers ago, I was grossly harassed at a music video. I'm sorry. And thank you. I'm not the only person who's been through that. And the way that my stress response works is I go into freeze mode. Mm -hmm. So everybody's nervous system acts up in a different way. And I wish, eh, I don't want to wish life were any different, but um, some people get stressed and they'll fight. They'll go and make money Yeah, and they won't be able to stop so much so that they have a family and the mom or whatever, some partner is like, Hey, like, why don't we go on a family vacation? And they're like, no, I have to work, you know? So I'm grateful I'm not that, but I go into freeze mode. Mm -hmm. So after this traumatic event that just was a layer on to other assaults, other harassment, all these other disgusting acts against me and a lot of other women in this world, my bodily response is to freeze. So I had past suicidal thoughts that came up and the way they manifested for me was to doom scroll, to not participate in life, to not connect with other people, to barely connect with my dog. And so here I was living a very privileged life in the sense where I could reach out and someone would take care of me. Someone would yeah. throw me a rope and save me. I would have coaches give me free coaching. I would have spiritual healers give me a session, et cetera. And that got comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. So I was sitting with the um, knowledge of this as I'm doing my inner work. I'm on my healing journey. I'm sharing it online. And the most frustrating part was that I can see my life situation, but there was something within me that wasn't willing to change it because going back to the fear of success, here I was so knowledgeable, and I even cried about this um, yesterday, but the change that we're all inherently scared of is what has been holding me back from making the changes to so these what do you think, numbers. What do you think? What do you think the consequence of your success is going to be? What's your fear? What's your phobia behind it? Okay, first of all, the harassment and especially assault and just anything like that that's terrible. I am so sorry that happens and happened happens in the world, but I'm so sorry that happened. And it's totally reasonable to have a response like that and not want to like go back to that job and stuff. Um, where I'm a little scared is like our fear of success. I don't want the fear of success within itself to be an excuse and reason to not get our together and live an adult life. Yeah. Now, <laughs> fear of going through a situation like you've been in before in terms of harassment and stuff like that, that is a totally justified one. Is that your fear? Success leads to that? Or what's your fear of success? What, what's, what's the phobia behind it? To answer this in two parts, one, I know that the fear is probably manifesting the same as excitement would. So it's also okay. like, okay, I could change this to, hey, let's just get excited. Let's get excited about success. But it's easier said than done, right? So when it comes to what success I think lands like in my body, it's magnetism. And every time I'm magnetic, I get violated. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So just, just the, the history, just the history of your life, anytime. Okay. <laughs> so here I am knowing this, 
but I'm ready. I'm seriously ready to make the change. I have the pitch decks for these clients whose yeah. social medias I want to change oh up. I want I have that to all work so bad. Yeah, and it will, it will. But the number one thing, and this is where I might get Delulu. <laughs> huh? Delulu. <laughs> Delusional. Okay. Will you hold my hand for a second? I need connection. Uh, these numbers are making me ang ang gang. Thank you so much. Ang gang. Okay. <laughs> well, it's angry numbers. <laughs> Thank you. I need that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I get delusional, you could say, when I don't participate in reality because I have this knowledge, knowing, if you will, of of my calling, of my web show changing oh, yeah. the world by me giving all these stories about my healing journey and more mm. depth, but not too much. And just trying to inspire other people to go on their own healing journey so they can be their most authentic self and live their most aligned life. So this distracts me where every day I'm working towards that, but it's not as lucrative. As you were saying, you had yes. to stack up before you really focus on this beautiful show that serves so many people. So I have the same goal. I want to help as many people as possible yeah. to change their lives So, like you're doing. I am so supportive of it, so supportive of the desire, everything like that. Uh, just to just bring my devil's advocate and just more like the world just screaming at me. It. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I live in too much light. <laughs> Not too much. Well, I started the show as a hobby and just enjoying the topic and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I think I had the one in a million chance where just I just got lucky. I got lucky. The show took off. Um, but I know thousands of YouTubers start every single day. Mm -hmm. and the vast majority never make it. And I was just so blessed enough to have the support. Thank you of everyone out there. And the show has taken off and I've been able to build employees and, you know, rent an office and all this stuff. And it's super exciting. Yeah. What happens in the statistical? And again, I want this to be successful. I don't want you to take this as me being against it, being successful. I'm a contrarian too. But what do you do <laughs> if in the statistical likelihood it's not successful? And right now we have negative money in our checking account. And we're not paying on our credit cards and we don't have enough save in retirement to survive. And we're going to die on the Walmart floor. What, what do we do? <laughs> What, what do we do in that scenario, though? Like, how long do you push for this? Here's the thing. We make a f plan, which I have been avoiding uh, because the suicidal thoughts are like, no, we're in survival mode. Well, just make sure, you know, if that happens, 988, call the number. Very important. Um, Thank you, Logic. Yes. Uh, just always making sure we're taking care of ourselves. Absolutely. I want you to survive at the same time. Yeah. And a lot of that comes down to finances. So yeah. well, and that's where these numbers are f***ed up because I didn't give you too much of a breakdown on some other like um, expenses, but a lot of that are like supplements that I think are going to like save me. Save um, you? Yeah. Like, you know, magnesium, liposomal glutathione. Oh. And all this shit that actually, if you made a routine, Amber, if you woke up a little earlier and you're objectively you healthier than me, I don't, I don't know what to say on it, dude. I appreciate that. Oh. So I'm, this is why I believe in divine timing. Everything is a divine appointment. The timing of me being invited on your show could not have been better because the inner work is caught up. And now we're ready for the external reality to reflect the internal. So I will literally do anything you say. No, you won't. It depends if Mac approves. Oh, okay. Well, God. so what is it? If if Mac the dog farts, is that an approval? Or like, what did that indicate earlier? No, hey, we Mac? have a psychic connection and our nervous systems are co-regulated. So anything I oh, okay. feel, he feels, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, speaking of reality, let's talk about Navy Federal. <laughs> No, um, that one's negative six dollars. I think right now. No, we're talking about the checking account, or we're talking about the credit card, not the checking account. Oh, gross. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Well, first, let's just start. Credit card people are people who know how to manage credit cards. Can manage credit cards. Take advantage of credit cards. This credit card is taking advantage of you. You are not a credit card person by any means whatsoever. No. Never hold one again. Close these counts immediately. Okay. Noted. I will do that. 
Yes, close these accounts immediately and then let's <laughs> pay them off because they're f you. <laughs> they, I like, okay, thank you for this audit because I looked at how much I was charged for maybe it was the Bank of America credit card, but this year alone was $500. It's interest. not even just that. It's but. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm anxious. Cope laugh. Okay, I can accept. <laughs> okay. $502 <laughs> is was the previous balance. But guess what? New balance is $509. Why? One, we're past due $20 because we didn't make a payment. We didn't make a payment. We didn't make a payment. Oh, no. And we're over the credit limit of $9.94. We're having interest charge of $7.42. The usual minimum monthly payment is $20. Cool, that's awesome. But you didn't pay it. That's Why so little. You, yes, it's so little. Why did you not pay it? Why did you not pay it? Yeah, okay. This is clearly a dissociation issue. I f dissociated from these accounts that I'm not even keeping a schedule of when anything needs to get paid. And I'm pretending like- Just put it on auto pay. Okay. Dissociate, associate yourself with <laughs> auto pay. Right, use AI. Use AI. Problem solve with AI. Yes. <laughs> what? No, I've been needing someone to look at me like this. Why? Why does no one ever tell you reality? Are you surrounded with yes men because you're pretty or people just nice and not telling you anything? Yes, you look great. You look fantastic. Congratulations. But because of that, are people <laughs> just die. like are people just like not willing to tell you the truth? Or what? I mean, you tell me. Or do you even know? I are you mean, telling me no one's ever told you before that, hey, guess what? Pay a credit card. Minimum monthly balance. Yeah. What's really beautiful in my life is that I have a mixture of what you just said. I have, like, for example, my mindset and healing coach who will text me random. Like, you know, you need like a schedule and you need like to set an, a monthly goal of how much money to make. And I'm like, oh, didn't text her back. And then there are people. Why? Why? Why did you not text her back? Don't just move on. Okay. Why'd you not text her back? She was bringing reality, even though she's coming from whatever, uh, well, crystals or something. But <laughs> just, just she, she was telling you, like, yo, girl, money exists and you need it to survive in this world. We didn't text her back because... Fear. Fear of... Success. Okay. Okay, I need you to... It's gonna... Uh, you need to talk to your therapist about that one. Therapist, one that has studied the science behind mental health. No, my coach is great. Kat's great. Fantastic, but, but you're, you're right. Text her back. So I need you to talk <laughs> to your therapist. Just this one time. You're right. Address the fear of success with my yes, EMDR therapist. And then therapist. figure it out. But also don't use it as a crutch. Don't just be like, okay, fear of success, fear of success. So I'm never going to do this. Yeah. Okay, figure it out. Figure out different coping mechanisms around it. Uh, work with your therapist to get past that. Obviously, I cannot do that. I'm not a mental health person. But what I will not accept is we sit down in five years and then I hear the same thing. Yeah. You need to work on that. I really appreciate that because with all the other trauma I've been through, I've actually mm -hmm. been focusing on like other like child abuse, sexual assault, all that. And so that's kind of been the focus with the therapist because that's what's felt like it's been, that's what's been weighing on me the and most. And I don't want you to think that but, I'm not sympathetic. I'm just not oh a mental no. health person. So it's like, it yeah. doesn't make sense for me to talk about no, that. No, that's actually exactly what I needed to hear because here I am avoiding what would problem solve like immediately in my life. If I were to actually talk to my therapist on Friday and be like, hey, let's leave the daddy issues to the side for now. How about we go into the sphere of success and magnetism and being violated again that I yeah. have that's preventing me from making money. So thank you. I'll do that Friday. So obviously you're going to have to uh, talk to the therapist mm -hmm. on that stuff. And we're going to have to work through with the therapist on that. I want to get your just perspectives on life just before we go into this, uh, just so I know who I'm talking to for a second. Okay. Okay. A credit card. This is something you've spent other people's money. Now, there's a lot of evil credit card companies out there, sure. Take advantage of people, sure. But you spent the money. Now yeah. you have to pay it. You're not paying it. What are your perspectives on credit cards and paying it back? Money that you borrowed. <sighs> this always takes me deeper <laughs> than the actual issue at hand. I, the way my mind works is I go to like the systemic issues of this world. And I don't want to like use excuses 
Because I love to claim responsibility for the way that my life is to a certain extent. To a certain extent. Yeah. But systemically, the way that the world is set up to oppress certain groups of people, I feel f- oppressed as Why are you oppressed? That being a woman in this world and someone who wants to go to court for yeah. somebody who wants to speak out about the abuses of power in this whole world. Banks are an abuse of power. Sure. And you should against against your own life and experiences <laughs> you've had. Sure. But credit cards. I'm talking about credit cards here. The thing with the credit cards is I accept responsibility that I should not have taken that money out. F- funny story is about a thousand-ish dollars of those credit card bills was caused by Mm, okay, it was my fault. But I trusted a man on seekingarrangements.com who said that he would give me like $5,000 if we went on a date together. And he was like, I want you to get all done up for the date. I want you to get your lashes done. I want you to get your toes done. I want you to get this laundry. I want you to get all this gross shit. We don't, we don't do that unless you get the money up front. I know, everyone tells me that (laughs) they're like you know you're supposed to get the money first i was like i'm a trusting person why i don't know but here i am spending all this thinking he's gonna pay me back and then we don't even go on the date so there i am with more credit card debt than i knew what to do do with and i just started dissociating more because look there i was again do you feel you owe it back me you know it's kind of like with the student loans i don't want to pay back want to Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to pay Student debt. Loans, I don't want to pay that. Back. Are you? Are you going to? Right now, I think I'm on forbearance because I make so little money. Yeah. So like on an income. Well, did you, you? So you actually applied for the forbearance or you're like on an income based thing? It said forbearance on however you pronounce it. Mohila. Um, I'll snap back into that. I'll do the. Do you owe the money back to, to the government? Yes. Or do you feel like you need to pay the money back? Because right now we're paying nothing. I'm just trying to get your mindset. What's the point of this conversation if I don't know your mindset? Okay. Because you obviously just come from, like, uh, just you. we have some different perspectives, which is totally chill, and I'm good with that. But uh-huh. I just want to understand, do you owe the money back in your opinion? I believe I owe that money back. I do. Okay, Even though I good. blame the system. I also owe, oh, I didn't tell you this part. I owe a so you man. Say, so, so to be clear, you think the system is why you're in credit card debt? Yeah, I think the system is to blame for why a lot of people are in poverty. Okay, and I'm talking about not. you. I'm talking about you. You. This show is about you. <laughs> you are the <laughs> one that's sitting here. We can't you, talk about anybody else. Well, you keep trying to take it to like a broader thing, I which do. is a, which is a different show. I it's a different show, big. though. That's My a different show. Brain goes huge. Okay, um, congratulations, big brain. <laughs> but like, that's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> this show is about you. I'm focused on you. I want you to get out of debt, dude. I really do too, and I want to help other people do the same. So, so I am did the taking... system get you in the credit card debt, or did you not, or was you not being responsible, getting the money up front and putting the money into it that you did? Was that not your fault? Every swipe was a choice. Okay, for so sure. was it the system or was it you? I'm still going to blame the system. Oh. <laughs> what responsibility? You things. said you take responsibility. <laughs> what? I take responsibility for when? not being able to control my spending when there wasn't enough income. You don't take responsibility of not accepting the money up front in terms of risk mitigation. Mitigation? In terms of of avoiding the risk of maybe him not paying and you spending the money. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. accept responsibility there? I definitely do. So it wasn't the system. It was you. It was you just not being smart enough about it. Whether that comes from ignorance, which is totally okay, totally okay, but let's at least accept responsibility instead yeah. of trying to blame something else. You did it. These were all a choice. But to be honest, (laughs) what, what, (laughs) to be honest, I don't know if you've heard recently and I don't want to go too deep into this. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. There is a professor from Stanford who had to share what he learned about free will in this world. And he concluded, and he did not want to share this information. He concluded that there is no free will. 
the way that these abuses of power and these systems are set up to keep people yeah. down, to keep mm -hmm. women Did he disconnected. go through the full scientific method? Was it peer reviewed? Did, did it go through everything? Yeah, he's Stanford. Well, that doesn't mean anything. He could be a history professor from Stanford. I don't know. That's true. He could be teaching band, concert band from Stanford. He could be talking about, what do you, what do you mean he's from Stanford? That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care about a mm. college or institution. What's his background? Yeah, it is that. a peer review. Did he go through this full, <laughs> did, did he go through the scientific method? Like, what is this? Or was he just a dude that posted a blog? Like, well, again, that doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, he wrote this into a book. Have you ever seen Westworld? Yeah. It's basically Westworld, Great first dude. season. I know they canceled it because Westworld knew what was up. The uh, well, way that also this the show world just wasn't really good after the first what? season. What? Okay, the I know. Season. Second I season was the third season was okay. Fourth season I didn't watch, <laughs> and they took off HBO. They they Max, knew how sorry. to get us to watch it, but then the got too real. Okay, it got just, way too real. Or it just wasn't have... good for, and people didn't want to watch it. Yeah, it's not a grand conspiracy. I promise. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm in the dark. Oh. No, nah, we all got our own POVs. We all need to see the world differently. So I would love to awaken people to the fact that yes, systemically. Well, tell me this thing. You were, you're, you're very big on this and you're using that as an excuse to not have uh, the choices in your own life and mm. things. No, no, no. So tell me, tell <laughs> me, did it come through an actual scientific study? Have other people pushed back on it? What's the context? Cause I don't know the context. You're the one that brought it up here. So tell me, where did it come from? What is his, what is his professor role? What's his name? That's what's annoying me right now. Okay, so we can't land read, we can't read a headline and say that because this is this is what everyone like on Twitter does. You read a headline and mm. then that's reality. Yeah, like, come on. Then Trump ended you up in office, but you can't even like talk about it. You can't even talk about the study. This is study. another thing I dissociated from. I'm not gonna lie. I saw that headline. Like I read like half the article from like reality so far. Yeah. That was that was it rude. Really I'm sorry. Hurt. I apologize. It's not. That mean. That's that's real. That was mean. I'm just getting frustrated. I, that's why. I, yeah. <laughs> I give people real talk too, so I love getting it back. It's its own form of love. It is. So, it's, it's how I. It's how I prefer to have conversations. To me, if people, good. I, I need people to sit me down and just like. <laughs> get yeah. it right dude <laughs> i like you slapping me silly with your words right now yeah. i really do f appreciate it so oh, yeah. thank you for going on this roller coaster with me but yes there is a <laughs> really it's 40 minutes and we talked about one debt okay, <laughs> okay. 40 uh 20 minute monthly payment total charge is just so far 31 dollars 95 cents it's at an 18 percent interest rate total interest charge is period so far seven dollars 42 cents we're behind uh um minute monthly payments and we're over the credit limit Lovely. Okay, so here's your student loans. The highest rate is 5%, so these aren't like death by any means. They range from 3 to 5%. I do not know the total balance on your student loans, though. I think it's about 27000 Kill me. Yeah, right? Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What did you do? What did you do? I you're just to... you're doing little acting things. What, the, what did you go to school for? <laughs> I went to Syracuse University in upstate New York for... Mm -hmm essentially sports journalism, sports yeah. television. I wanted to be Aaron Andrews. You like sports? Um, honestly, no. I think I just got into sports because my dad liked sports. Their football team can sometimes perform. Okay. I was all about basketball. Oh, I don't follow basketball. Yeah, I liked to make out with the walk-on players, and I dated the water boy one year, and that was fun. But then I worked for Fox Sports after college. That wasn't going to help me pay off any debt than paying people like, what, 18 an hour? I guess hour? I should have been a walk-on player because my hinge is not doing me. You need justice. <laughs> I'll audit your hinge in exchange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been through that. It wasn't great. Okay. <laughs> no. What? No. You lied what? earlier. You lied earlier. When? You're behind on your student loans. You're, you're, not, on a zero you're not on a zero dollar thing. Can I see that? You're behind. You owe 200 whatever. You're behind on it. But it said forbearance online. I don't know. I don't know. You Maybe you're in forbearance and you're just... Uh, oh, when did you see in forbearance? When did you see that? I was on the web page. When? I logged in. When? Two days ago. Okay. Because <laughs> I thought maybe you were seeing... Because uh, uh, everyone was on forbearance throughout COVID. Oh, I, okay, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. You logged in to Mohila, Mohella, whatever. Mm. I was just assuming because I'm on the f Medicaid and the food stamps and I saw forbearance and I was like, oh, they're hip. They, I didn't need to tell well, them I don't know. No, no, because, yeah, you, usually to be on forbearance, continued forbearance, you'd have to go on there and be like, I'm bad. I need to be on forbearance. Mm -hmm. uh, or just be like, yo, I'm making no money. I need to switch my thing to an income base, which, okay. 
You think Maybe. they'll listen to my stories about the systems of oppression in this world? Just kidding. I will do this today. I will call. Yeah, because you're past due 287 and the minimum monthly payment is 200 days. Okay, so. I'll actually do this tomorrow because I was going to do some plant medicine today to get my mind right after talking to you. I'm Does that, that just mean side. smoke or like what? Like the other plant medicine. Um, they grow in the ground. Like okay. Fungus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You and Boogie. So much in common. <laughs> You're funny. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I have your shirt? Sure. Yes. I wore it because there was no clean shirt, so. Yeah, I haven't cleaned this rabbit fur that I shouldn't have bought. We have a new balance on this card of 1,788. So this is your Amazon Chase card. Yeah, you having Amazon access got to me. one they click got shopping. Me. Yeah. They gave me like a $10 discount or something, and I was like, yeah, I'll sign up. For debt. Five is the minimum <laughs> monthly payment. No purchases. Seven dollars. Ooh, we made a. Okay, come on. Come on. You made a payment. Come on. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I needed that high five. <laughs> Absolutely. We made a payment and you're below the credit limit. That's great. $38 of interest <laughs> charge. That sucks. Uh, Every month? Yeah. Yeah. 438 stolen from you this year so far. $28 of fees. We must have missed a payment at some point. It's all, all going to be paid off. It's all going to be paid off. The money's on its way. The money's on its way. You, you have abundant songs you sing to yourself at night? No, I go make money. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good burn. Holy shit. That's what I'm going to hear when I go to what bed is tonight. What is this? No, is it, I make money. What is your life? Is, is it the, the uh, what? Wear your pajamas on the bottom bunk, jump, jump like five times, and you get a <laughs> snow day tomorrow? That's not how this works. I know. My my life has been Snow a day happens when, uh-oh, snow comes. You can't manifest it by jumping <laughs> on a bed. The money comes is, when you go get it, not when you go, yes. oh, 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 gosh, money's coming. Oh, yes. I hope money's coming. What, is that the song you sang? <laughs> is that what I do now? It's a little cuter than that but i'm thinking of getting i'm thinking i'm thinking of getting a tesla but i don't really want to spend money on it oh let's get a tesla i hope i get a tesla <laughs> okay, oh my lie. goodness get that was what money was happening from a tree give yes. me the tesla like visualize the tesla okay it's or maybe its i just make an extra episode yeah i won't lie that's how it was that's completely how it was for like a year. I would have all these people telling me like, you're going to do big things. Like you're going to help so many people. And I internalized that. And I was like, okay, well then future sounds set to me in the present. Let's just continue being comfortable. Let's Comfort sit you're in. You're comfortable? You're comfortable with this? I'd be freaking oh, out every second of my life. that too. When you're raised in a childhood home that is chaotic and you only know like that scary discomfort as what do you a mean? child. I was getting foreclosure notices on my house as a child. Hmm. When I was born, my dad was a gas station clerk and my mom was like a receptionist at like an eye place or something like that. They didn't make money. They didn't make money. We couldn't go out to eat. We couldn't really do things. They borrowed, they borrowed money to make it feel like I was middle class. Mm -hmm. But that's why I became passionate about personal finance. Well, let's not mm -hmm. use, uh, again, things outside of our control, especially assault or anything like that. Yes, a billion percent. But let's use things we've learned in the past if we grew up in a dysfunctional household to be like, oh, maybe I don't want my household in the future to be dysfunctional. Why was it dysfunctional? Yeah. These reasons. Let's not be that. Foreclosure notices on the house. I don't want that. What caused it? I'm not going to do that. Yes, that's beautiful. You were able to see what you didn't want. And then you worked but towards you a different ending. In my own way, yeah, I'm doing the work to not be like essentially how my childhood home was. So yeah. my inner work is making sure that when I interact with people, they feel loved, they feel seen, they feel heard. And so okay. the thing is growing up, I was never talked to about money. If I ever sure. asked how yeah. much something cost, I was yelled at and I was called stupid and all this other. Well, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> other stuff. But yeah. So I guess also being raised in scarcity mindset, mm -hmm. it's been really weird because I'm trying to choose on a daily basis abundance. Like I'll, I'll joke with you about abundance and manifestation, but, but it's real. real abundances actually having it in the bank. 
Yeah, being able to do it, man. Because yeah. what you're doing is what you're doing is you're actually pushing off real abundance. You're preventing it by just being in a hole that's going to be harder and harder to dig out of the longer and longer you go mm -hmm. and allow yourself to be in it. Man, if I can get you to a point where you're budgeting, where we're bringing in solid income in a job that we're feeling passionate about for doing that, you're abundant on the nine to five. You're abundant on what you're doing afterwards where you're putting money. It yeah. doesn't have to be a suffering type thing. No. But right now you're kicking the can down the road and you're preventing yeah. actual abundance. The frustration and it goes back to the beginning of not wanting to participate in a capitalistic society. It's like- But you don't have a choice. Exactly. If I want to live here and I want to change this country, I have to participate in capitalism so I can change it from the inside out. So what the dream has been, and I know it's coming to fruition, is I'm going to have a mother show just like okay. you and it's going to help with I hope people. So. I hope but so. I have to do both. I have to Link do that the shit I've been below. avoiding. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. But here I am actually now realizing, okay, Amber, you can help other people, but you have to help yourself first. And I've been avoiding that. Every time I'm feeling lonely or scared or anxious, I go online and I'll post a story yeah. telling my story, hoping that it helps somebody else. But then I'm avoiding taking care of myself. And then I try to get other people to. I try to get my partner to take care of me. In the past, it was random sugar daddies. Sometimes it's my dad. Sometimes it's... The list can go on. Yeah. So I, for sure, Z's, do not want to live like this anymore. So I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. And it... Ah! It feels scary but I think it's also excitement. But I know, I know, I know that, what would you say, in your opinion, would you say like 20 hours a week on the passion work and then 20 hours a week on the money-making work? No, or no, what no, do you no. think? It's, if the passion brings in the money, then we're all in on the money for surgeries. It will. But if, well, okay. I hope so. I hope so. We can't, we're not gambling, okay? Well. We're not gambling. <laughs> we're adults. We live in reality. I hope it works. <laughs> but we're adults with dreams. Yes, and dreams are dreams. Reality is reality. So, you wake up from a dream and you are enter reality on a daily basis. So what worked for you? You said you had to save up 12K before you felt yeah, yeah, comfortable yeah, yeah, working yeah. on your before show. Before I felt comfortable jumping ship, yeah. Okay. Well, Completely. But were you completely. at part-time on the show? Uh, Yeah. Uh, like well, pretty much. I mean, well, the thing is, if you're passionate about something, there is no, there's like no off time, right? Yeah. So if you're working the nine to five, then you're working the five to nine. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I mean, that's just how it was. When I first did the show, I didn't have the people sitting behind you right now. I didn't have a producer. I went out and found everyone to be on the show. I didn't have an editor. I did it all myself. You work mm -hmm. the job and then weekends and everything, you just work, 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 work. And I was just doing it as a hobby, but yeah. it took off pretty quickly. So I was just like, oh, I can dedicate more time to this. Oh. It's making an income that is survivable. Uh, you, That's you, awesome. It is <laughs> awesome. And I've been so blessed. And I want you to be just as blessed. I don't think it makes sense for you to be like, here's a cool idea. Let's not make any money and let's only do that right now. I think we also need to survive on the side. Yeah. I feel very and blessed. You're very lucky that you don't have to pay rent right now. Because if not, yeah, I don't know on God. what would be happening in your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. And also, again, you're getting food stamps because you're choosing not to work. You're like actually yeah. choosing. It's been a subconscious thing that's finally at the surface of, hey, you know, all these fears are the reasons that you're distracting yourself with all this other shit. So the storylines were like, oh, I'm not healthy enough to work. Oh, I've just been through some trauma. I need to heal before I can start working. So that's how it was for month after month after month. And then week after week, you're like, okay, I'll start on that new gig Monday. Oh, well, you know, now it's Thursday. Let's try again for this Monday. And I'm, I was procrastinating my life to the point where now the numbers are clear. I can't do that anymore. And I'm sick. I'm so sick of getting support from other people, but I'm blessed enough that my show with the five episodes that I have right now have apparently helped people. Yes. And so yes. I that is the most rewarding thing. Yeah. It really when is. You get that feedback. Yeah, no, like, it really is. If people change life. their lives, that it is the best thing. Yeah, so that's why I can't, I can't give it up. So I'm at the point that you're that talking mean about that with the work, be, work, work. Yeah, but it has to balance with the actual money making, self sustaining work. Well, the thing is, if you can't survive, then this thing that's helping other people 
isn't going to be long, around long enough to help more people. Mm -mm. So you have to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for I, a reality check. Well, you're welcome. And speaking of reality, Bank of America. <laughs> okay. Uh, Great. Yeah, Great. this must be your favorite one because we are sitting at $3,984. Fun. Three exclamation points. Oh, uh, I gave it three exclamation points because, like, uh, there's fees and... <laughs> We're above the credit limit by almost two thousand dollars. Almost two thousand. I didn't even know that was allowed. It's because they want to make money off of you. You're allowing to be taken advantage by the system. <gasps> that you, that you hate so much. Oh my god! I know, but you're allowing it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That got me mad, and oh. anger makes me take action. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, $39 a fee, $94 of interest. Past you $131. This is like, what are we doing? Okay. Okay. That's confusing. $171. I I paid that. Um, $171. You, so you paid a payment towards to it, but you, 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 didn't, you paid a payment towards it, but you didn't pay enough to fully catch up. Late fees, $39. $1,000 of interest lost this year so far, and you've had other late fees. Which one is that? The same one? It's the same one. Ew. Wells Fargo checking, ending with 206. Now, you said you have negative right now. Yeah. On this one? Is it the Wells the, Fargo? The Navy checking. So it's not, it's not even this one? The, the Navy, Navy checking is the one that looks good negative. and it's negative? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Wells Fargo, overdraft, overdraft $35. Mice Camera Store. Uh, oh, this God, is American yeah. Airlines of $5.60. Did you buy something on the plane? You can't afford it. You can't afford to live. ATM withdrawal, <laughs> where's $40 going? I don't know. Facebook thing, a cop cop mentorship? What's a mentorship? $158. What mentorship are you part of? Oh, um, that was for my Reiki and spiritual healership training with oh. the magical Alexandra Michelle. Wonderful. Heal your banking account by not spending money you don't have. I'm going to Reiki my bank account right now. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. That was a joke. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's all a joke to me. Casting networks, yeah. <laughs> natural pause. R. Houston. Okay, that's okay. I love. I love him. He's great. He's a boy. Let's bring him up for some pets. He Hi. really needs like yes, the most high quality food to offer. <laughs> that's offered well, on the dude, market. He's lived to fifteen. Like whatever's going on is working. Yeah, he's part zombie. Like he sees. Well, I don't think he can see anything, but uh, he is very <laughs> cute and nice. Good thing you can't see these bank statements. You might be yelling at me, too. Yeah, those uh, those cataracts are rough. I'm sorry, buddy. We're healing but, those. Everything in my life is healing. Okay, and you're healing them through medicine or through hand Reiki waves? and medicine and intention setting. I like <laughs> the medicine part. <laughs> I don't like juice press when we can't afford to live or something on the street, Houston, or... Yeah, but celery juice is for your health. Okay, but just take it at home. <laughs> what? Because, okay, I didn't explain. Um, the mold situation at my apartment destroyed all my things. You have a partner. You should live with your partner. Oh, God, no. Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe not. You know, that was, that was, I mean, that was an over just like, you know, instant thought in the head. I'm just saying, if, you're, if we're living in a dangerous situation, you talk about leaning on other people. I'm okay with leaning on people if we literally live in a dangerous situation. I know. Right now I'm living with my dad and it's driving me insane. In the mold? No. So I can't live in the mold. Okay. So you live with your dad. I'm at my dad's. Cool. Yeah. We're, we're grinding celery at home. Um, you were I wish. You, you were going to. My juicer got destroyed by mold. Okay, but so go get, get a $20 one off Amazon. You have an Amazon card. You're obsessed with it. Mm, no. Get a little one that saves you one trip to the juice press. <clears throat> ATM so, will draw $40, monthly service fee $10. Here's another thing that I've been doing that oh. I think a lot of other people benefit from as well. Like yeah. the old-fashioned Silk Road bartering. Like I'll make videos and commercials for your business if you give me 30 juices. No, so that's those, literally those, a deal that I just I made. I you, you paint. It's okay. Take your time. Thousand dollars is in here, but now you're saying it's negative. Um. Is this accurate? I don't know. When'd you pull it? Uh, no, the statement period ended a, few, a couple weeks ago, okay. so it's not now. No, well, this pull, is pull, the do you have it on your phone? Do you, have, you have it on your phone? I do. Hold it up. 
<laughs> I feel like throwing up. Like I legitimately feel oh, like throwing up. Okay. These numbers are so bad. I was wondering if that was just me because yeah, we're Maybe sharing I have the field mold. right now. No. Oh, actually, yeah. Actually, everywhere in the United States has um, a mold issue. And that's another thing I'm trying to raise awareness of so I can avoid my own situation. Red, white, and blue mold, mold baby. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go. You can open your eyes. Are you praying for me? Thank you. I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, thank you. You're positive. You have, 130, you have 139. Happened. Oh, click it. Let's see. Oh, mm. thank goodness you have money. Bare, Commercials. I mean, like, how, how are you getting home? How are you, how, how are you getting From home? Here? Yeah, how are you getting home? How are you getting back to Los Angeles? Okay, so I have been getting my together. I'm from here, out of Austin, Texas. I'm going to fly to Washington, D.C. and meet with my business consultant. We're going to take care of my taxes. We're going to take care of my budget. We're going to take care of all these things. So you are the perfect first step of giving me a beautiful, I'm very grateful, financial audit before I get even more set, organized. Ah! Uh -uh. I have an aversion to this, clearly. I thought I don't know. I thought you saw a spider or something. <laughs> no, spiders are cute. Lift ride, you're here with your dude. Make him drive. Or make him pay. Oh, yeah, he's really amazing. He's been supporting in a lot of ways. But I don't want his money or anything anymore. I can't stand it. Well, you also it. just don't have any, so. <laughs> well, that's yeah, a lot worse than the thousand dollars I saw here. And we're doing uh, yoga and farm boy and uh, some OTT and um, potentially parking and good cover. Uh, some restaurant and selling out money, selling out money, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, uh, some mercantile thing. That Taco Bell gave me, what taquitos, do you call it? Stomach flu. Taquitos, also probably. Okay. <laughs> and Sia Frost, uh, Sassafras, and... Brian Russ. Yeah, all seasons, I should not be eating out sports. No, of course not. You can't afford to survive. You were negative money in your checking account at one point. Yeah, the we're having overdrafts. We're not even paying minimum monthly payment on three of the four debts we have. No, eating out is not an option. Maybe I'm the oh, yes. Man. Continues. I'm the <laughs> I forgot it continued. <laughs> Sprouts <laughs> Farmer's Market, expensive place to eat for someone. Well, that was for the stomach flu, the probiotics. But you can get probiotics on Amazon. I get my probiotics on Amazon. It's so yeah, but cheaper. they're all sourced differently. They all have different, like yeah, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go on. Papino's Pizza, an innovative photo in KMC Denver Zoo, binge hot chick, Amazon. The King zoo Scoopers. was a business expense. Oh, oh, okay. Hey. Okay, no, I get it. Venmo. Chick fil A, <laughs> Zalano Money, Masabi. Dude, you go out to eat every second of your life. Cretan juice, again, blend, blend, blend. We're at home. Mohan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. just to just to and Ben mowing out money. Some Adobe thing, which kind of makes sense for the business. In eBay. Yeah. In bonds. In eBay. The eBay was a little bumper. You, have for you him. even filed taxes? I mean, you make nothing, so you're not gonna have to pay anything, but no. have you at least filed taxes ever? Um, I have. I get money back. Yeah. 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 But next year, I would love to give the money back to the government that I have been benefiting from. So, yes, some amazing EBT groceries and all of that. Something but that I'm, blows I'm my mind is you have $7,000 in a Roth IRA. Yeah, that I no grew. I have no clue. Thank you for making me look at this because... Um, Betterment, I guess, knew where to put my money and invest it because then all of a sudden you're just, I have that You're much. essentially just spread across the overall stock market, which is good. Uh, okay. Uh, it says withdraw $4? I withdrew 4 Says That's what it says. Yeah, probably for... Um, Why? Maybe Mac wanted like a treat or something. But from your author, hey, you know this is an account we don't touch. Do you know No, why? I have no clue why $4 were deducted. Do is that like, like a, a payment? Have, I, I don't know. It just says withdraw $4. That's all it says. I would love after meeting with you to get my um, actual together and have an answer to this. But right now I do not. 
Who took four dollars? If you withdraw money from that now, it's four, so it's pretty insignificant. But what that is telling me is that maybe it's happened before. Either way, you withdraw from this, you face penalties. Really? Yes, and then you pay taxes on whatever the account went up, and like you said, it has grown. So that that baby, I don't touch ever. No, never until you're fifty nine and a half. Fifty nine and a half. Okay. Yes, then you can. By the way, taquitos like twenty percent of your taquitos. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot you haven't watched the show. Your boyfriend volunteered you to come on the show. Um, going out to eat, 17% of your spending. Uh, necessary food grocery store is 4.5. That was that was, uh, that was uh, Sprouts. Your subscription's 10%. Are you insane? That's crazy. Miscellaneous. Those are like the taquitos. Those are, uh, those are, we're just, we're going and we're just getting a small little purchase that are stupid, 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 unnecessary. Going, going, stopping and getting a little thing at a gas station for $4. All those that's what, the, that's what taquitos are to us, and that's 20% or $433. Oh. Other large purchases, this is Christie's Sports, this is Public Storage, this is Yogurt, this is ATM Withdrawal. Uh, sorry, Yoga, not Yogurt, ATM Withdrawal. Uh, a check that went back, and um, uh, 70 zelling, bucks? zelling out money. So, yeah, 70. And zelling out money. All that came to 44% of your spending. Fun fact, we just really didn't make progress on anything. So that sucks. You don't have a car payment. Uh, motorcycle. Payment. I had a man buy my motorcycle and I have to pay him back eventually, but luckily there's no deadline on that. <laughs> just <laughs> don't do that. I just I, when I woke up today, I didn't know this would be the conversation I was having. <laughs> no, I'm always a surprise. What do you owe him? It was only thirty three hundred and I think I've made two payments of like ten percent. Hey guys, so for my brokerage outside of my traditional retirement accounts, when I'm doing my single stock picks and just overall brokerage moves, I've switched over to Moomoo. And they're actually upping their bonus from $400 to up to $5,000 when you transfer over to Moomoo using my link in the description below. I've been using them for a few months now before I recommended them because I just want to make sure I'm recommending the best platform possible. And honestly, I've kind of fallen in love with using it. And the best part is when you deposit money into your Moomoo account and you're not ready to invest yet, you get 5.1% on your money. So it's a pretty incredible platform to try. So feel free to try it in the link below. No, 5% total? No, I, I think each. I've paid 10% total. I've probably only paid him like, uh, yeah, maybe 330. So you owe 3000. Yeah. We're going to add that. It's a debt that you owe. <laughs> yeah. That one I was ignoring. Who is he? Who's the dude? Um, he was this nice, this nice guy who, um, did you sign a contract? Nope. Honestly, because of that. I'm usually a pay your money back kind of guy, but like you do that. Yeah, let's take a look. Appreciate that. Um, here was the first episode. So that this is on your Instagram. We ever did. Yeah, bottom okay. right would be the first episode. <laughs> Sorry. This is, this is how it's going to be. I'm not going to expect perfection. Okay, great. No one else should either. Take one. Let's do this. What the f What did I just watch? I didn't get um, any help from that. That's just a little personality flair to draw you in. Oh, is it still going? Yeah. This episode's about 10 minutes. They're oh. little long form for nowadays, you know, but unworthiness and rejection can come up when recalling a past narrative. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. I'm choking up a little bit because that was back in February when I first came out with the idea for ago. the show. Yeah. You haven't done much for no. such long. I literally now, had a lot of love. And then this one hater was like, this isn't sustainable. Oh, you can't listen to them. <laughs> you can't read them. I, I used to think that like they were people that I would consider even hearing from, but I don't even like get on any of the uh, yeah. apps and social media anymore. Barely even it's like smart. the only one I get on now is YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. so, so I kind of everyone paused. else takes care of everything else. Yeah, of don't listen to them. Um, okay. Uh, I was told I could do ASMR. I was just gonna say you can do. You should do ASMR. 
Thank you. No, no, no. People like make money off of that on YouTube and TikTok and stuff. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not even kidding. Like, okay. So, I mean, uh, let's just talk basic realities here. You're an attractive person. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. You won the genetic pool. Uh, and, and, and you took care of yourself. Right? right? Like, uh, I'm actually pretty hot when I take care of myself. But now I'm a fat. Everyone's inherently so. beautiful. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Capitalism decided what was beautiful and what wasn't so that they could sell us. So that well, they could I mean, just sell us all does, this makeup. I mean, hmm. like, I wouldn't be attracted to myself personally. What? It's okay. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm fat. It's fine. No, no, no. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. This isn't, I'm not shaming myself. I'm a thick. <laughs> and like, I like, I, Thicker than a I would not be attracted to myself if, if I was attracted to this anyway, but no, that's just the gr agreement that you currently have. You just need either yourself or someone else to create a new agreement in your reality. Okay. Oh, okay. You are beautiful. All right. All right. I don't remember what. Come on to healing Amber sometimes. All I'm saying <laughs> is that basic reality is you're attractive. You have a good voice. And in that video, you were doing more ASMR stuff. I think you could have like an actual social media uh, career more in the ASMR field. Uh, what I will say, that last post did not have a lot of engagement. No, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Put put time into this, but this is not a abandon everything else and do into that because that uh, has made negative money numbers wise. Yeah, numbers Ooh. wise, it's not there. Impact on the world, it's there. <laughs> not if no one sees it. Yeah, but if I affect one person, like even if just one person watching this episode. But again, right if you can't pay helped, your bills and you're homeless and you can't afford to eat and you starve, you're not going to be able to help other people with other videos. Yeah. So I, I need you to survive. I want to survive. I'm sick of survival mode. For what? real, for real. You've done like nothing. You're not doing anything. Yeah. Survival mode is in here. Survival mode is in oi, here, oi, 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 but oi, 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 oi. here's what I want to ask you. Yes. Ask me because I'm ready to give up. So feel free. Ask me. Okay. If you were where I am right now, oh, yeah. I, my issue is right now there's a lack of routine and I've been living in a chaotic timeline essentially. So I've been told by other YouTubers, you got to create a schedule for yourself. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's what humans do. So if you were me, what schedule would you set so that I'm still putting in a fulfilling amount of time into healing Amber, but I'm also putting a fulfilling amount of time into money making? Okay. Yeah. This is what I would do. Just being what I've been through, knowing what I know and having gotten out of debt, worse debt than you're in. Mm -hmm. This is what I would do right now. I would uh, wake up tomorrow, apply for jobs like it's a full-time job. Keep doing that. Uh, build a resume with a resume builder, uh, get other eyes on it. We can take eyes on it as well. You send it to us. We'll take eyes on it. Uh, do a bunch of different work, 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 get a, get a job, get a job. Well, let's just pretend it's nine to five. It might be overnight. I don't care. 15 bucks an hour, whatever the minimum wage is there. I need mm -hmm. you to make money so we can only start making progress on this. Boom. Minimum 40 hours a week. We're doing that. And then you're right. If we want this to be a full-time job, then an extra 20 hours a week minimum, we are putting, we're scheduling aside and we're like, what does it take in order to get this off the ground set? Whatever the goal is that's off the ground. Okay. What does it take to do that? Schedule out what is necessary in order to hit that. When you're not at your full-time job, you're mm -hmm. going to be tired. You're not going to see as your friends or whatever as much as you'd like to because you're grinding for a larger purpose yeah. and we're surviving. We're not putting adult responsibilities off because of a want. Yeah. I would be working minimum 40 hours a week at any job because right now bringing in $1 is more than you make essentially. Um, I mean, you made some of the ad revenue. I would also just do that as much as possible, but you need to work. We need to grow up. We need to just yeah. become an adult. We need to work like everyone else. You're not entitled to something. You're not entitled. It sucks. Now, it, it really sucks. I would love you to have that wonderful job uh, and wonderful life. You weren't born in a family just like I wasn't born in a family where we can just do whatever we want and we can fall back on a bunch of money. That's not the lives we come from. We got to work for our So you need to go make some money, work like it's a second full-time job on that other until it makes sense to quit and do it. Yeah. Statistical likelihood is it probably won't. And I hate saying that because I'm just one of the blessed lucky few that have gotten here. I'm in an incredibly pr privileged position and I hate telling someone that statistically it might not work. Just going off of numbers and trying to be responsible on the side of the table. Okay. Let's pretend it doesn't. You might just be working the other. You're pretty. 
fo- you, you can focus on that. Think, think of different verticals. Maybe if we do the ASMR or we're doing modeling or something like that. Mukbang. Whatever you want to do. If we, if we are able to make a career off of that and filter people into the stuff that we think is healing the world, mm-hmm. you know, then that's a win still. It doesn't have to be the content right out of the gate of here's how you heal yourself. Heal yourself. If we're making content that, uh, so we launched a budgeting program. It costs money to participate in, so that hopefully you know we could make our money back. But I believe personally that we did something that is better than has ever been found online, and it can actually help change people's lives. We actually went out with the intent to do that. And we're, this show is a platform to help change people's lives. But we also give the entertainment side of the show. We also give the educational side. We give this whole thing. You don't have to go full in to the self-help. We can have these other avenues that people want to watch and then filter them into what you think could help them. I don't mm. know. I don't know. What would I do, I do right know. now? What would I do right Well, I'm just kind of all over the place. Like, I know I'm jumbled. What would I do right now? I'd go get a job now. Yeah. Now, in service, whatever. Be with every other actor in L.A., go be a server. Whatever it is. You need to make money because you're not paying your payments. Yeah. This, you're able to do that when this debt is gone and you have a fully funded emergency fund by like a year. Why? Because mm-hmm. it minimizes your risk profile. It will get... You don't have a debt obligation on a monthly basis to pay for at that point. That's incredible. That means you need to make less money to survive. You have a fully funded emergency fund. It can help subsidize you through the slower months. That Mm -hmm. lowers your risk profile. You're able to put your full energy and focus into there. Mm -hmm. I can't give you a time period for when that's going to be because you just need to go make money now and I need to see what your budget looks like after that. But that's what I would do, man. Honestly, and it hurts to say, but it's what I would want someone to say to me if I was in your position. Mm-hmm. You just need to grow the f*** up. But my little ones. I don't give a shit about your little ones. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are. I'm just joking with you. Because the way that life goes for a lot of people is that we're taken over by our little ones. So the way that manifests for me is, boom, I have been letting them keep us safe and sound, hanging out with our friends. I got a little emotional charge when you were like, you're not gonna be able to see your friends as much. I started tearing up because my little ones within were like, oh my God, we're gonna be alone. And that is the worst fear inherently of any human being. Yeah, you're gonna have coworkers now. (laughs) My other servers. But in other ways that people are taken over by their little ones is like with you, they don't believe that they're beautiful when they are. You've changed so many people's lives. I see a beautiful soul. Thank you. So your little one just needs to be told that on a daily basis. Whenever they feel fat, whenever they don't feel attractive, you reassure them, no, you're beautiful. Oh, I'm hot as but I'm a fat Yeah. Okay. So thank you. That's exactly the medicine that I needed to hear. And I will get that job. It's not going to be one that you would pick for me, but I don't care as long as it's a job that makes money and you're putting in the hours necessary to survive and pay off the debt. I don't care what job. Okay. It's going to make a ton of money very fast. But that's the thing. I have the means. I have the skills. I don't like universities or systemic. But I went to an expensive university and I have all these skills that I've put so much time and energy into and they're really high paying skills. I've just been scared to change my life because with like one or two gigs, boom, I'm independent. Maybe I don't need to, ah, it freaks me out because life would change in so many ways. I could finally be gayer. Like I could take women out on dates and like, be mommy and and pay for that amorous relationship over there yeah well i'm not judging (laughs) well that does not pertain to this (laughs) (laughs) like there are just so many little ways that life would change when i start to make money and the change is scary but change is always 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 and it always has been beneficial and for the highest good 
So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you have changed my life today. Well, that's a beyond obvious zero out of 10 hammer financial score. So check out all the resources linked in the description below. They're what I use or would use in specific situations, including the very best budgeting program in the history of the internet. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calophammer.com. 